44 mods, 11 updates and 4 maps. It's a busy day. Let's go. Right, first the updates. So we've got an update for the Sell Everything by Schultz Modding. And in the change log for that, it's got added support for production mods. Got an update for Old Barn by Gracchus and Philippe. And in the change log for that, it's got add snow and corrected textures. Mini biogas plant by Disturbed Simulations had an update. And in the change log for that, it's quite a list. So we've got the electricity and methane can now be stored, distribu distributed or sold. Edited silage and straw production recipes to generate more methane. Added a version of the mini BGA with an electricity charging point and methane filling point. Added a small electricity charging and methane filling point to use this set. The, ele the electricity and or methane in the BGA to distributing. Added a large electricity charging and methane filling point to use this set. The electricity and or methane in the BGA set it did set it to distributing this can also store 1 million liters of electricity methane for future selling or distributing to generators from the modular bga so we've got an update for the sweet maker siwa 720 by nickelge and the change log for that it's got new power takeoff new tires new hubs and reflectors Got an update for the Agromaz POH5 by Didec96 and that's added lower link bolt and colour of some bolts has now been changed. Loma ZDK1802 by Vertex Design. Change log for that, it's got added licence plates fixed at unloading on Loma Combi. The Annie Burger HTS 11D.04 spreaders by Vertex Design has had an update. In the change log, it's got fixed unloading of lime not being possible, added AI agent and set attacher height to 0.6. An update for John Deere 437D loader by Kenny456 and JDL logging. In the change log, it's got added tension belt support, improved stability of the trailer, important it notes if you load your save game while the trailer is unfolded you currently need to fold and unfold it again otherwise the trailer will be unstable we've also got an update for the massey ferguson 76 77 87 series by krkz modding and in the change log for that it's got new store item added the mf 8700 dyna 6 and dyna vt transmission options have been added front pto added to front hydraulic option added front loader option added new sound detail tire options adjusted color options have been adjusted original wheel weights fitted partially brand decal dirt texture has been changed and various bugs fixed the ermo pack by smi modding team has also had an update and in the change log for that it's got added new model the ermo hurricane the last update for the day is Maypole Farm by Cavalier Roy and in the change log for that it's got manure heaps now fixed made purchasable with the land, floating tree at lake now fixed, some terrain modification and precision, precision farming ready. So that's your updates for the day. Alright so what I'm going to do I'm going to break it down into two sections because obviously there is a ton to get through so I'm going to do in this section all the placeables. So the first mod we got in part one is Warehouse. This is by Pascal Couts 16.98 megabyte on the download and it is huge absolutely huge you're going to find it in the construction menu and under sheds so we'll scrub there it is pallet warehouse 525 grand to buy now I'm zoomed out as far as I can go and just look at it it's absolutely massive i mean it's even overlapped into some of the other mods we're going to take a look at with a bit of a terrain situation on the go there but still this is nice obviously all these doors open but they only open from the inside so you come up to the side door like that you get inside you've got all this space you've got the racking over there you can put pallets on or you can store like front loaded tools or whatever and you just come up to the doors here each door's got its own operation on it yeah you got to come up to the actual push button parts oh that's ace obviously you've got a bit of a step to really you're going to come up the side door so if you open this one like that it's got a little ramp in there so you come up with a forklift truck so you'd have one of those blipping around in it and just load straight onto the back of a semi articulated trailer that's ace i do like that although i can't find a light switch 
And you've even got like fire extinguishers in the middle, you know, just in case anything sets on fire. I do like that. I mean, it is big, very big, but I do like it. Very nice. And there's the lights. It's right over in the corner. Right by this door in. Ah, there we are. Brilliant. Right, next up is Extra Large Workshop by Mac Trucker 921. 15.45 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this again under construction and sheds. So we'll scroll back there. 45 grand to place down. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller than the warehouse. So if we go into there, open up that door. Open up the little side door if you want to. You come inside, you've got a workshop trigger there. Very nice. Yeah, I like that. Bit of junk in the corner. Oh, can you lift up that ladder? No, it's not letting me pick it up. I mean, nice big open space. You can really get some big amounts of equipment on the go in there. Yeah, very nice. Right, next up is British Bale Shed. This is by British Mods, 1.66 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under sheds. So we'll scroll there. 65 grand to place down. Obviously, it is just a shelter for storing your bales under. So it's a simple thing. There ain't much else to it. But I do like the girders going across there. Let's put a detail on that. Yeah, if you've got some bales to be storing away. Very nice. Right, next up is Machine Sheds. This is by Dithmarsha Modding. 1.13 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under Sheds. So we'll scroll along there. 95 grand to place down. And it's going to pay you out because it's got the solar panels on the roof. 4,800 per month. Yes. Obviously, you're going to need a shed to keep your equipment and your vehicles under. So why not get paid for it as well? What's that little there? Like a little post-it note. Oh, it's a light switch. There you are. Job done. I like that. Obviously, sloping roofs, you are going to have to be a bit careful if you're coming in with taller vehicles. Maybe just reverse them in or something. But, yeah. I like that. Nearly five grand a month. Yeah, very nice. Right, next up is the Meridian 16XXL. This is by Permas Modding, 3.67 megabyte on the download. You're going to find them in the construction menu and under buildings and containers. So we'll scroll back along there. We've got four options. So we've got the first one, which is the 1620. It's going to hold 137,706 litres. Bit of a random number, mind you. Then have got the second one is the 1670 it's going to hold 120,565 very random numbers mind you third one is going to hold 109,000 which is the 1615 and then the fourth one is the 1612 it's going to hold 92,000 I place those the right way around how I placed them the other way around <laughs> dear oh dear so you've got the 1612 there then the 1615, then the 1617, and then the 1620. Obviously, the bigger they are, the more they're going to hold. Fair enough. So this is going to be a liquid silo. So if you come over here, you can buy the stuff in. So herbicide or liquid fertilizer, buy it in there. Yeah, all right, they are. Very nice. All right, next up is Animal Food Factories. This is by... Bardi Cow, 12.25 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these in the construction menu and under two different places. So first off, we've got the actual factory part. So we'll go into productions and factories. We'll scroll along to find them. There we are. So we've got the first one here, 52 grand. Then we've got the larger one here, 110 grand. Now they do both the same on the recipes. And they give out mineral feed and pig food. And the only other thing in this pack is a sell point. So if we go into there, we'll scroll back along to find it. There we are. 55 grand place down. Obviously, it's going to sell all your stuff in there. So if we come around here, see what I mean by that warehouse? I mean, look what it's done to the ground here. It's pretty much covered most of the pallet spawn point for this factory. <laughs> dear, oh dear. So we come around here. That looks like it's... Is there a loading point there? 
unloading point? Ah oh, no, unloading point there. Pallets at the other side. Fair enough. You come into that bit. There's your recipe. So two sugar beet, two one soybean, two sunflower, and one canola give you seven mineral feed. And then pretty much no, it's just two sugar beet, two sunflower, one corn, two potatoes, and one sorghum gives you seven pig feed on that. And then we'll come around to this one, we'll spin it around. And that's that landscaping messed it all up. You're loading in there. Oh, that's right. This is based on the old cereal factory, though, isn't it? So, food in there. Pallet spawn point there. There's your production chain menu. So, again, same recipe as the other one. Although, it does do more cycles per month. So, that's why you go for the bigger one. Then we'll come back around here. And obviously, this is your sell point. All the different sections that you want to sell your stuff in. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Right, next up is Industrial BGA. This is by Disturbed Simulations. 9.49 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under Productions and Factories. So we'll scroll along to find it. There we are. 250 grand to place down. Obviously, this is going to do your usual BGA in slight difference. So obviously, you load your stuff into there. You load in your slurry there. You take out your digestate there. Oh, is that a methane filling point? It's an electric one. Let's have a little walk around this side. Because normally you get electric and methane off your BGA, so surely there'd be an electric point as well. Now that's the methane burn off. Ah, oh, there we are. There's your electric charging station. There's no icon by those two, though. I'm just wondering if you can fill up from there. Alright, fair enough, we'll carry on. Production chain menu there. So you've got the option of doing silage, slurry, manure, sugar beet cut, sugar beet, potatoes, straw, silage and slurry, straw and slurry. Mmm, that's interesting. So you can mix the silage and slurry and get you a better output than just doing the... Oh, I like that. You had a bit of difference on the recipe on the go. You get more out yeah very nice get some bga on the go right next up is medium house this is by michael ls seven megabyte on the download you're going to find it in the construction menu and under buildings and farmhouses so there it is 55 grand a place down obviously it's a sleep trigger yeah that's all right that does look like a british house actually that'd fit in quite nicely on a british farm so you come up to this icon, that's your wardrobe. And you come up to that one, and that's your sleep trigger. You can't go inside, it is what it is. Oh, I like that, very nice. Right, next up is Polish House. This is by Jopek56, 5.29 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and on the buildings and farmhouses. So there it is, 30 grand to buy. Obviously place it down, and it's going to be your sleep trigger for you. So again... Nicely detailed, I do like that. I do like how when you look through the windows as you're walking past it moves. That's ace. I do like that feature. Obviously you've got your bike out the front. You can't get on it mind you, but I do like the decoration of it. Yeah, very nice. Right, next up is Scandinavian House. This is by Pixel Farm Oscar 8599, 11.68 megabyte in the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under buildings and farmhouses. 150 grand to buy. Obviously, place it down for a bit of a sleep trigger. So you come up to the front door there. There's your sleep trigger. Round the back to your patio. There's your wardrobe trigger. Have a little sit out in the sunshine, have a bit of a drink. I like that. Yeah, very nice. Can't go inside, mind you, but... Yeah, I like that. Right, next up is Small Horman Garage. This is by Top Ace 888 5.79 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under buildings and sheds. So we'll scroll along to find it. There we are. 37 and a half grand to buy. Obviously, place it down for a bit of storage for you. So we'll come over here, open the gate... Like that. Where's the light trigger? 
There's lights on the roof. There's no light switch. Am I missing it? Is it that there? Or is that going to be... Oh, there you are. Right over there in the corner. Job done. Ah, so right, that is. Obviously, you're not going to get too much in there, but... Yeah, very nice. Right, next stop is gas station with daily income. This is by Zermek. 23433.65 megabyte on the download you're going to find them in the construction menu and under productions and generators there we are so you've got three grand for the bigger one and then two grand for the smaller one so the three three grand one the bigger one is going to pay you 600 a month and then the smaller one for two grand it's going to pay you 480 a month yeah, I like that. It's a little storage thing. You could place that anyway. You, know, you could even put it in a building over there. And just get yourself some money. I like that. I see detail with the gas bottles. Yeah, very nice. Right, next stop is Waterbox BR. This is by Dar Rocket Mod Hub Brazil. 3.24 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and on the buildings and containers. And for some reason, I've got myself right on the top of it. <laughs> All right, we'll spin it round. There we are. Right, so let's go and find it in the construction menu. There we are. 20 grand to buy. Obviously, place it down. It says on the website, water tank for your farm. With it, you won't need to spend more money buying water. That means free water. Oh, I do like a bit of free water. Obviously, pull your vehicle up to the loading into your vehicle icon. Away you go. Yeah, that's all right, that is. All right, next up is Fuel Tank. This is by Logan9760. 1.26 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under buildings and containers. So we'll spin around there. Yeah, that's better. Right, so we'll scroll back along and find it. There we are. Five grand to place down. Got a 10,000 litre capacity. Obviously, you'll pull your vehicle there to fill it up. And you come around this end to fill the silo up. 13 grand. 10,000 litres. Obviously, you can go up in other increments. All right, fair enough. Yeah. You need a tank on your farm to fill it up for your vehicles. Very nice. Right, next up is Grass Dryer. This is by Zodlezok. 2.65 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under buildings. No, production, sorry, and factories. So we'll scroll along to find it. It's all the way down this end. There we are. 75 grand to place down. Obviously, you're going to put your grass in and it's going to come out as hay. So if we come over there, you load in, load out at the same point. Production chain menu there. 16 in, 16 out. Fair enough, it is just for drying your grass. So obviously rather than going over your field and tethering at all, can we go in that door? No. Yeah, rather than going over your field and having to tether it all, just drop it in here and it dries it for you. Yeah, I like that. Right, next up is Placeable Wooden Dog House. This is by Melodzi. 2.92 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and under animals and others. There you are. 500 to place down. Obviously a different style dog house for you. And uh, where is the dog? It's run off. Usual thing there. So we'll give it some... There you are. It's got Bill Bow with wings. What was that? The name of the dog. They named the dog Wings. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's called Wings. All right, Wings. You want some food? Good lad. Yeah, that's all right, that is. That's a little different style to a dog house. Right, and the last mod for part one is Variable Vine Whips. This is by The Bounce. 23 kilobyte on the download. And you're going to find it in the construction menu and under Productions and Orchards. So the options you've got here. This is putting the distance between the vines so you've got the first one there which is 1.8 meter distance then we go on the second one there which is a two meter distance the third one there is a 2.15 meter distance the fourth one is a 2.3 and then the fifth one is a 2.5 and then up the top there is the original vine what you would normally come from base game so obviously you place these down and it snaps down like normal so if we go back into there Go back 
and we'll start up so we've got this one here so when it does the width so obviously you place your first one down like normal and then when you come across and it snaps to that width there that's what's giving you the difference the auto snapping obviously depending on what size you go for depends on how close it snaps together and they are small i think even that two point what was it 2.3 2.5 even that looks smaller than the normal one obviously you are going to have to be a bit careful mind you because that is really narrow that first one is it 1.8 meter ah different option though yeah i like it right so that's it for part one obviously keep an eye out for part two that should be coming shortly